mentioning Northeastern. Now starting his 11th season, I can't believe it. Bill Cohen is with us and one of the key newcomers for the Huskies, Alex Murphy. Uh, Bill, where, where has the time gone now? 11 years, it's, uh, I know we've, it seems like we've been doing this all 11 years. Yeah, well, it's, it's just flown by. It's been a tremendous experience for me personally, but it's been a pleasure to coach in the, in a, in the league as strong as the CAA. Had a uh, great relationship uh, through the competition with the other coaches and to, to see the student athletes grow from the time they're freshmen to the time they're seniors and then go on and represent the CAA in various professional leagues throughout the world has is, is just been an amazing ex experience for me. Well, a couple of years ago, you got to represent the CAA in the NCAA tournament. How have you seen this conference so evolve? Because it, one thing that has been impressive. Christy was just talking to the folks at James Madison University who literally have created a women's dynasty. On the men's side, it's pretty much every year there is somebody else new ready to be the king of the mountain. Yeah, there's just a tremendous amount of parity, and I think parity in a strong sense of the word in that, you know, there are so many great coaches in this league and really, really great players. So each and every night, uh, you may be the best team, but you can get beat uh, if, if you don't bring your A game. And, you know, it's been that competition, I think, that's, that's really been the definition of the CAA the last few years. And Alex, you come in after playing at Duke and at Florida as a graduate student. What brought you, what appealed to you about coming to Northeastern? Um, just the opportunity to play my last year in college um, for an unbelievable coach and man and Coach Cohen. Um, you know, having the opportunity to go closer to home as well, uh, being in Northeastern in Boston, I'm from Rhode Island, so... Um, you know, that was obviously a big factor as well. But, yeah, just having the opportunity to go and finish my college career at a great school with a great coaching staff and great teammates, just great opportunity. We were talking before we went on that of all the criticisms, and most of them justified, at least when they come from people like me about the NCAA, one of the things they've done really well is allow graduate students to get that, that final look, that final feel, both academically and athletically, before you're really ready to, to say no to everything. Yeah, no, it's, like I said, this is a great opportunity for me, um, both to earn my master's degree in the classroom and then, like I said, hopefully have a great year out on the court with Coach Cohen and uh, everybody at Northeastern. So, um, you know, obviously can't thank them enough. Um, it was a you know long, long process, but in the end of the day, it worked out well, and I'm here now. So uh, you know, it's, it's been it's been going well. Well, as Kevin Keats uh, said earlier, after today, they don't talk about next year anymore. So I guess I'll use the same statute of limitations with Bill. You had another successful season. You've had 41 victories over the last two years, but you lose three thousand plus point scores sure. i know having alex come in is a big help but how do you replace all that talent well I'm, I'm not sure you do it in day one but you know we were very very blessed to have the likes of quincy ford and davy walker and zach stall three guys that uh, you know have been big part of you know what we've accomplished over the last couple of years and uh, they have they've walked out the door with a couple of ca championships and uh you know an ncaa tournament bid and you know, did some great things individually, but you know those that production and those minutes are gone. And um, you know, we're going to look look to our senior leadership and uh, T.J. Williams and, and Jimmy Marshall and Alex Murphy uh, being our seniors to really kind of set the tone and practice each and every day and make the young guys understand just how difficult it is and that you need to prepare and get better each and every day, maintain a positive attitude and maximum effort and. You know, we also have Jeremy Miller who's coming back, mm -hmm. who, who had a fine freshman campaign, and a bunch of other young players that we're excited about. Tell me also, too, I mean, I know TJ has been such a, a critical part of everything. Having another senior who can really take control of things in the backcourt has got to be a tremendous blessing. Yeah, I mean, as you know, college basketball is all about guard play. And to have a senior guard uh, like TJ Williams, who's uh, just had a terrific off season, I think he's got that senior urgency now, which is hard to repl replicate early in your career. But once you become a senior, it's about winning uh, and about bringing others with you and, and bringing that urgency. And you know that's that's what we've seen from TJ early in the year here. Alex, how has it been blending in with some of the established players like TJ, some of the other younger players? Have you found a pretty good fit so far? Uh, yeah, I think I have. I found a really good fit. Um, from day one on campus when I got there in September, you know, the guys, they welcomed me and uh, they accepted me right away. Um, and, you know, from, from then we've been working, um, obviously on the court, off the court to develop chemistry and relationships. Um, that's obviously very important um, to the success of a team. So, yeah, for, I would say from day one, it's, it's been, it's been a, you know, a smooth transition. 
You mentioned losing Quincy Ford a couple years ago. Say John, his brother, though, is there. There's some more Fords in the pipeline you're hoping, correct? Oh, no doubt. What a wonderful family, and we were so uh, lucky and fortunate to be able to coach Quincy and Sage. They're, they're both great kids and uh, terrific basketball players. All right. Bill, Alex, thank you so much. Best of luck in this upcoming season. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's